So guys, a lot of you have been saying, and there's been a lot of, uh, not I wouldn't say rumours because there's actually pictures out there that are concerned about Amir Khan's weight and saying Amir Khan six weeks out looks in terrible condition. Now, is that a concerning, concerning factor? Well, I've watched Amir Khan and Amir Khan's never been a guy that's been aesthetically in brilliant shape when he's out of camp. He's never been ripped to the pieces. He's never been like someone like Kel Brook, for example, who when he's on the scales, he looks fantastic. Amir Khan has looked good on the scales, but he just looks average in comparison to uh, some 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 fighters like Kel Brook, for example. He don't he does he's not ripped and jacked like that. He looks good on the scales, and I've seen him quite ripped at times, but he doesn't look like those guys. So you gotta understand, everyone's different. Some people can't get those lean, trim physiques when, especially when someone like Amir Khan's, you know, he was out of camp. Right, and I wouldn't say I see all the pictures. He didn't look that bad. He didn't look that bad. You know, that's standard. Most fighters probably six, seven weeks out would look like that. You know, I think yeah, he has got a little bit of weight on, but let's not forget he's a little older now as well. He's not young, so I don't think that's something to be concerned about. Is to me what the concerning factor would be whether he still got it. That's the most concerning thing. Him having a little bit of weight on that's not gonna. That doesn't mean anything. Again, the Canelo fight, I thought at the weigh-in he didn't look very good at all. I thought he looked fleshy, looked bad. We'll see. Let's see when Amir Khan gets to the weigh in how he looks. Because if he get looks to the looks at the weigh in like he looks now, then I'll be concerned because then it looked like he hasn't done a lot of conditioning because he said he abandoned it in the last fight and he didn't look very good. He looked quite podgy in his last fight. He didn't look ripped, he wasn't lean. Um so I'd like to think that, you know, this camp for Crawford, a fight like this magnitude, he's done a lot of conditioning and he will be in good shape when he enters the ring against um, Terence Crawford because he's going to have to be in good shape uh, the main concern is not his weight or not how he looks 6-7 weeks out because I know Amir Khan still got his main asset which is his speed it's just the other aspect like his legs and every everything else that whether he's still got that if he's still got that we're going to have a fight um, if he's got his hands and his legs are gone then we're probably going to have a fight for 5 or 6 rounds if, we've, if he's got his legs under him and he's able to move around and move around the way he used to be able to the, and have the, have the, you know, have the same, have the same, like I said, agility, athletic, athletic, oh, I can't say the word, be as athletic as he was in the past, then this is going to be a fight because Amir Khan's moving around, he's boxing, he's making it very hard for Crawford. But if he doesn't have the legs, then Crawford's probably going to catch him eventually. He's going to catch him eventually. But this is why this fight's interesting because we don't know what Amir Khan's got left. A lot of people think Amir Khan's past his prime. That's why they don't think this fight's going to be that competitive. Otherwise, most people that know boxing know that this would be a hard fight for Crawford. Most people think Amir Khan's finished. That's why they believe this fight's not going to be um, a tough fight. But I think this is going to be a very tough fight. I, I just think Amir Khan's going to turn up. I think all these people talking about his weight, forget that. The main thing is, is whether Amir Khan's got it. If he's got it in his legs, his movement, then we've got a fight. His weight, he, six, seven weeks out in uh, prior to that, uh, prior to most fights, he would probably look the way he, he is now. It, it's not, I, I, he didn't look that bad as well. It's not like he was fat as anything. He looked in decent shape. Like I said, he didn't look in a horrible shape, like he had a big gut or whatever. People calling that a big gut, that's not a big gut that he had, you know. Um, most of you people that are saying that he's got a big gut, you should go and look in the mirror and have a look at your guts. I'm pretty sure you're you're not you're probably got bigger guts than that. So I wouldn't uh, listen. I wouldn't say yeah he's an athlete, but six seven weeks out, you know he didn't look too bad. Um, I've seen Golovkin look a bit podgy before the second Canelo fight. You know it just happens sometimes. You know maybe he ate a little bit more. Maybe that day he was a little blow. We just don't know. He, I think he I think he looked all right for six seven weeks out. Well, let's see how he looks when he comes to weigh in. That's the most important thing. But then we'll know if he's putting the work or not. But leave your thoughts, guys, uh, about this overweight issue of Amir Khan. Is he is he not uh, training that hard? Is he is he what what is it? Why is he why is he looking overweight? According to you people, I think he looks all right. But leave your thoughts, guys, in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.